Hello everyone, uh, I thought I'd give you a uh, tour of my um, uh, model making uh, workshop. Um, as you can see this is in my, uh, my bank garden. Um, it's actually a um, garden office which I've uh, commandeered into my uh, modelling workshop. Um, these things come sort of flat packed, it's uh, like the ultimate in uh, uh, flat pack furniture I guess. Um, which uh, you put together in about a day. I had uh, some help with a, a builder friend of mine but uh, he went together without, uh, without any problems. Um, the, the side window is an addition. Um, I uh, had that uh, included as the uh, the one that came with the uh, with the flat pack was uh, was wooden, uh, just to help with uh, security and uh, obviously uh, with uh, with heat uh, to keep this thing nice and warm uh, in the winter time. Uh, right, so um, I'll just uh, move inside and I'll give you a tour of uh, of the interior. Well, here we are inside uh, my uh, workshop. Um, as you can see, it's set up in uh, two areas. Uh, the one on the right is a, a spray booth which I uh, fitted just a couple of weeks ago um really enjoying getting back into airbrushing uh when i was younger all i had was a uh, a badger uh and a um uh, some canned air and that's that's all i had uh so it's a bit of revelation using um uh, spray booths and uh compressors and um uh, i'm using a uh, evolution cr airbrush uh, which is uh, which is amazing uh, but if i pan round, uh you can get a kind of idea of how the actual uh workstation is set up the idea was uh, obviously i could do some some modeling on the left hand side and then spin around to the uh, to the spray booth when i need to do any kind of painting or uh, put any kind of uh, varnishes on for, for weathering or or whatever i'm actually uh, doing at the time uh, at the moment i'm working on uh, the uh, mandalorian's razor crest uh, which is uh, which is going together really really nicely and uh, if i just uh, walk forward slightly and if I then pull my uh, magnifier out of the way, uh, which is absolutely essential uh, because uh, <laughs> at my age I can't see very small details uh, because I do lots of different kinds of uh, model making. Um, I do very small 172nd scale all the way through to um, large scale uh, you know, part, uh, part works. Uh, so uh, that magnifier is absolutely essential when I want to see the details. Uh, also, I do a lot of figure painting. Uh, so uh, to try to see uh, you know, the faces of a 135, uh, 135th scale um, figure is, is quite difficult, but, uh, so, but that, uh, that, uh, that magnifier is uh, absolutely essential. Now, if I uh, just spin around slightly, you can see the other side of my uh, workshop and uh, that's my stash as it uh, sits at the moment um, if you also uh, look uh, down you can also see some of the the part works i'm working on at the moment i'm doing uh, night rider uh, the uh, the delorean and uh, on the bottom there is uh, is iron man uh, i also do a bit of a um, bit of a lego as well uh, i've got the iss as you can see there to to put together and a few uh, a few other kits um, on this side is a bit of a display case, uh, which uh, I'm going to be filling with uh, with, uh, with nice scale models. Um, if I walk around to this corner, you'll get a better idea of, I guess, the kind of space uh, that I've uh, actually uh, got uh, got available. Um, and as the windows, uh, basically the whole thing is, is self-contained. Um, there's the electrics and uh, and the heater in the roof. That's an infrared heater, which I uh, charge for this space, and it's uh, it's great. It's uh, it's uh, really uh, really heats this space uh, uh, really well. Uh, so that's my uh, my workspace. Um, uh, someone asked me to do a bit of a tour of uh, how it looks at the moment. So uh, so there you go. Um, yep. Yeah, hopefully we'll uh, we'll speak soon.